Hey guys, Maker CK here, and today I want to show you the Arduino Serial Monitor. That wasn't very like exciting or dramatic. I want to try it again. Hey guys, Maker CK here, and today I want to show you the Arduino Serial Monitor. Okay, here we are at the computer, and I've already opened up the Arduino. So, you can see here, if we um, go File, come over here to Tools, and open Serial Monitor, this is what I'm wanting to show you. And this, you can send information from the Arduino back to the computer here. And I'm going to show you how that's done with a simple example again Arduino gives you some nice examples here read analog voltage so what we're going to do is we're going to use a potentiometer and we are going to um, fluctuate the voltage up and down and we're going to print it out to the serial monitor so um, that we can see it and a lot of times I use the serial monitor for debug purposes so I've already got the Arduino plugged in and I've showed you guys how to do all the connections and stuff in the last video so we're just going to hit upload here and I have the, I'm trying to do another video where you can see the Arduino at the same time. So, see if that works. Okay, there we go. So if you look over here, if you can see um, on this side, this is the serial monitor and you can see it's saying 4.87. What we're doing is, we're with the, this program, I'll go ahead and go through it real quick because it's a fairly simple one. This void setup section here, I'll highlight. Void setup, it initializes the serial communication, and that's just so that you're ready to start communicating between the computer and the Arduino. And then we have the void loop, and this is the section that I had said before that it, it the Arduino just runs through this over and over and over. So in this particular one, uh, we have the analog read set to A0, and that's the analog pin 0 on the I don't know if you can see this down here, but the white cable is plugged into one of the analog pins there. And so we have the voltage coming through the potentiometer and then adjusting it and feeding it right back into the Arduino there. So then it looks at the uh, voltage value here and the analog reading actually is going to be between 0 and 123 and to convert that to a voltage between 0 and 5 convert the analog reading which goes from 0 to 23 to a voltage we need to have the sensor value times 5 which is the top end of the voltage divided by the top end of the reading which is 1023 and that's going to give you the voltage so let's go over here and look at the, look at it uh, when I change it there it's all the way up you can see it's showing five now and you're getting real-time readings through the serial monitor and I'll turn it down low here to zero and we'll go back up we're about 0.68 and there we are right around 1.5 now let me show you something else real quick that's also neat I'm going to close out the serial monitor. There's also something called a serial plotter. We open that up and it'll draw the line for you. And as I change this, you can see it's down to zero. I'm getting some weird spikes here. I'm not sure what that's about. There we go. Maybe I was getting some interference or something. But as I turn the potentiometer, you can see the voltage drop down to zero. Turn it back up. I think we get interference from my hand there and then it's all the way back up at five so I'll just turn it back and forth you can see it moving anyway that's pretty much it that's the basics of the serial monitor that I wanted to show you but a lot of times I use the serial monitor for debug purposes so um, for instance here well a lot of times you let me say this a lot of times you may have a an LCD connected or some other like um, some other module or something I, I have a module over here that's the 
that I used before. Let me just pull this over. One of these LCD screens. And sometimes you may have an LCD screen or another display on there and you don't know if you're not getting the reading you don't know well did I connect the display incorrectly or is the reading not you know the reading and the code not working properly so a lot of times I use I build the programs and use the serial monitor first and I make sure that all my calculations and program is working properly printing to the serial monitor then I connect the display and that way I know that if there's an issue it's probably because I hooked up the display incorrectly or something like that but real quick since I got you on here let's um, show you how you can print other things to the serial monitor I'll just close it out for now and let's do this let's make it so that we can change this and put an if statement in here and we'll say something like um, <clears throat> if the voltage is greater than 4 then we will do a, a print to the serial monitor. We just go serial print. This is print line. And we will print upper threshold. Okay. And then we'll say if voltage is less than, let's go one, then serial print line lower threshold okay so let's just upload that and open the serial monitor see what it's doing here okay so right now you see it's at 2.42 so it's in between let's turn it up and there now it's over four so you can see it's printing upper threshold and, it, and I also still have it printing the voltage. Not sure if you guys can see that on the computer or not. Well, let's turn it down low. We're in between here, so it's just gonna be printing the voltage if we go less than one. There, now it's printing lower threshold. So you can see how this serial monitor becomes a really good debug tool. It's really nice to check your work and, and print the stuff out to the serial monitor. Add your display or, or do whatever you need to do after that, but um, I basically use the serial monitor all the time. I don't really use the serial plotter that often, actually, but maybe we'll try to do a project where we use the serial plotter. But um, I've yet to really use the serial plotter too much. Other than that, I just think it's cool, just the data transmission between the two, I think um, it's just awesome. So I like to just mess around with it. Okay. Anyway, that's it. So if you watched, hopefully um, you can make some use of the serial monitor for your debugging. Hopefully it helps you out. And I'll come up with another video next. We're getting, uh, I don't know how many more videos we'll do. We'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.